Mayor Barbara McMorrow, and on behalf of Deputy Mayor Lester Preston, Committeeman Anthony Amiata, Tom Cook, and David Selkin, I welcome you to From the Mayor's Desk. Now, many of you may not know that this year, national parks are celebrating their 100th anniversary. And while we don't have any national parks here, we do have many county parks as well as our local parks in Fremont Township. So I have asked to join us today Maria Wojciechowski, a lifelong resident of Freehold Township, who is the Executive Director of Friends of the Parks, Monmouth County Friends of the Parks. And Maria is here to talk to us about the parks in general and Turkey Swamp Park, which is the county park that's right here in Freehold Township. And then I'm hoping we can also segue a little bit into what we talked about last time was the Mayor's Wellness Campaign and how to keep active. And there's so many activities in our parks throughout the county that you'll be surprised what you can do all year round, even when there's snow outside on the ground. So, Maria, welcome to From the Mayor's Desk, and thank you for coming. I know that your schedule is very busy, so I do appreciate you taking the time. Maybe we could begin by just telling how many county parks we have here in Monmouth County. Thank you, Mayor McMorrow. Uh, we're very lucky in Monmouth County. We have 42. Monmouth County Parks and Recreation and Conservation Areas, um, and we have three right here in Freehold Township. And I want to say that I want to congratulate Freehold Township. It's one of the best in the county for recreation. Um, it offers a great recreation program. We have so many activities, and we're lucky to have you know the local parks as well as the county parks here for residents to participate in activities here. Thanks. Thank you. I'll pass that compliment on <laughs> to our staff. Um, it's nice as the mayor, I get to take all the compliments, but it's the ones who are out there keeping our parks, maintaining them, and thinking of all the activities and everything that goes on. I know a lot of our, many of our residents are out in our parks all the time. Maybe we could talk about Turkey Swamp Park um, for a little while. Now, we had discussed before the show and I, about Turkey Swamp Park, and I found out something I didn't even know. How large is Turkey Swamp Park? Turkey Swamp Park is our largest county park. It's currently at approximately 2,400 acres. It is also one of our oldest county parks. It was purchased in 1963. It, is, it has a 17-acre lake. Um, it, has, it has boating, fishing, campsites. Uh, it, has recre it has picnic areas with barbecue grills. Uh, the campsites all have electric and water, and there are four cabins for those of us who don't camp in the rough, um, and that opens April 1st, the campsites, and it has boating, you can rent boats, you can rent canoes, kayaks, paddle boats, and then it also has, if you're having a family uh, reunion or a party, it has large covered uh, rental space that comes with playground, horseshoes, volleyball, and a dock available. So. How would I, if I was a resident and I wanted to participate, I wanted to um, reserve an area, how, how would I go about doing you that? You can just call the county, uh, the Monmouth County Park System res uh, in Lincroft, and you can make a reservation through the reservation area. They'll tell you the availability um, and to rent, to rent the cabins, the, um, to rent the campsites or the boats, you can just go straight to Turkey Swamp and rent them there. And uh, camping starts on April 1st. Boating starts in May after once the water warms up. Now you also told me something that I have to tell you I did not know. You can ice skate at Turkey Swamp Park? You can ice skate at Turkey Swamp Park. It's one of the two county parks where you can ice skate. Currently there is not ice skating. The snow doesn't is not conducive to ice skating, but they will post it on the county park on the Monmouth County website when there is ice skating available. You need a certain blast of cold, you know, it's consistent, it's tested by rangers. And they even have a bonfire on the beach at Turkey Swamp when they have ice skating there. So it really is a fun, nice uh, family activity. And I always did it as a kid, so I really enjoy it. So uh, how would I know? Again, I go to the website? You go to the Mom County Park System website, and they'll have banners uh, streaming across the front of activities that are available, winter activities. Because we want people out there. There's hiking. There's trails at Turkey Swamp. Uh, and, you know, Turkey Swamp is also very important because it's the beginning, it's the northernmost part of the Pine Barrens, so it's also a conservation area, and it's the headways to the Manasquan River, to the Matita Conk, and the Toms River, so it's the headway to our water preservation in, in uh, 
um, county and in the state. So it's really important from a conservation and water protection point of view, which is our most mm -hmm. critical, important resource. Mm -hmm. Now, how did Cherokee Swamp Park, or any of the parks, how did they begin? How did they become a, a county park? Um, well, it was somebody was willing, wanted to sell the land, and they thought it was something that was unique and crucial, and that we were lucky enough that we had a group of people who were interested in purchasing that. We had you know, freeholders and, and the recreation commissioners um, who were, you know, available to go look at these kind of properties and say that they were unique and really vital to preserve. Um, they had the foresight yes. to understand what role this, the, this kind of park would play in the county. Correct. Yes. For recreational as well as environmental. Yes, and Monmouth County is kind of unique in that they're able to partner between preservation, conservation, and active recreation at the same time. A lot of counties if there's conservation or preservation going on, you can't go in and enjoy the area. But Monmouth County is able to bridge that area and have active recreation at the same time as having preservation and conservation. Everybody works together so that way the yes. residents can have the best of all worlds. Correct. Okay. And I say residents because mostly it's our residents who are there, but people can come from other counties, I know, because often people comment about how wonderful the parks are here in Monmouth County. Yes. So I know you're very, very proud of yes, that. Yes, and we are nationally accredited. We were the first nationally accredited park system in the country. That's great. That's quite an honor. Yes. And it's a lot of work also maintaining those 42 parks and other sites that we have as well. Yes. So, uh, but that's done by the county. Correct. And, um, you know, you brought up an interesting point before about the mayor's wellness campaign. Another area that's here in Freehold Township is the uh, Henry Hudson Trail, which goes that's from right. Freehold Borough. It's 24 miles long, and it goes all the way out to Atlantic Highlands. And that was part of the National Rails to Trails Preservation Group. So they took inactive railways and turned them over to become trails that people could use for recreation. So there's two miles of trails in Freehold Township. Most of it is shaded. It's oh, all paved, good. and it's 10 feet wide. So you can bike on it, you can walk on it, you can run on it, people rollerblade on it, and it's just a beautiful, serene, you know, lovely thing. And it starts at 537 at Freehill Borough, Freehill Township, and then it goes all the way out. Um, you can go all the way up five, over, a little over five miles to Big Brook at the, in the YMCA Camp Arrowhead Park at 520 in Marlboro without a break. Yeah. You know, so That's it's really, incredible. it's really a nice. And I'm sure people are on that all year round. People are there constantly. It's just beautiful. So that's a kind of activity that anyone can do. You can just walk if you want. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be rollerblading anytime <laughs> soon, but certainly, you know, you can walk. You can, um, even if someone has a, is physically challenged, perhaps in a wheelchair, they could yes. use that trail as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's something good to know. We try to be so inclusive with everything. It's so important especially with, uh, with activities, to be able to get out and enjoy everything that we have. And I know that near us also we have Dorbrook. It's right in... Uh, Dorbrook is in Coles Neck. Neck. It's on 537, and that's a recreation area. It has, um, in the summer, it has a free spray ground. I won't compete with Freehold Township <laughs> spray ground. Yeah. Um, and it has, um, it offers summer camps, sports and fitness camps. It has a huge, uh, universally inclusive playground which means that children of all abilities can play side by side, whether they're in a wheelchair, if they have some type of you know, a disability, or completely um, not right children who have no no nothing that impedes their ability to play. So that that's one of our Tony's place. Tony's place, and that is one of our gems of the park system. And we just this year had our ribbon cutting. We had a Michael J. Park. Yes. Um, very much patterned after what the mm -hmm. county has of the same type of playground so that all our children mm -hmm. can enjoy it. And I'll tell you, um, it's a wonderful place because uh, if you go out there at any time, you'll see parents and their children there. And it's just great. It's right near where our other playground is. So yes. kids are all together out there just enjoying themselves. Now, I know it's cold right now, but we have deep cut gardens, and that would be another beautiful place to visit. Deep Cut Gardens is in Middletown. It's on Red Hill Road. Um, 
and it was Vito Genovese's from the crime family's home. Um, and he had it, the gardens built, so they were patterned after Italian water feature gardens. It has a Kateri, Kateri garden, a beautiful rose garden. Um, it has Mount Vesuvius, which was yes. a brick and mortar right. uh, facility because that was his one feature, his one demand that it, it had something that stim simulated Mount Vesuvius. So they used to burn leaves in it and it would erupt smoke. Um, and it's absolutely, it has uh, our, it has koi pond, it has um, waterfalls and, and, and a rockery garden that blow down as you walk down. And you can have weddings there. Um, you can go and take photos there. It's absolutely it's beautiful. Roses, I know. It's a beautiful rose garden with benches. And you might want to take a rest at the bottom because it is a steep walk on the way back up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there, there are, the rangers can give you a lift if you, <laughs> if you need it. Yeah, you mentioned a good point. What if I wanted to have an event there if I wanted to have a wedding there? Same Mother. thing. We have a uh, the park system has a reservations rental property uh, rental facility, so you can call up at the headquarters in Linkroft, and they will tell you availability and the rates for any of our facilities that are available. And I know that in the spring around June or early summer, that Deep Park Garden is really just beautiful. Yes. Depending on when the roses all bloom, correct. It really is a beautiful time to be there as well. Mm -hmm. And then the. Um, your office, Friends of the Parks, is located in a portion of Thompson Park. Correct. It's in Thompson Park. It's in Lincroft and part of Homedale Park. Homedale. So my office is actually in Homedale on the Swimming River Reservoir. But your office is also a historic building. Yes, it is. And yes, the history is. of that was? The history of that was it was part of the Twitchell estate. Um, and the Twitchells have, it was a... A bungalow for before, before there was air conditioning, a sprawling ranch, and they had the same home in the Keys. They ran fishing um, expeditions out of the Keys, and this was their summer home. And they built the exact same home here exact same that home. they had there, so Mrs. Twitchell would know where everyone was in the house. <laughs> and so it's set up that there's cross ventilation because it was before there was air conditioning. So it's all French doors with screens and covered porches. Isn't that fascinating? It's beautiful. It's just as fascinating that she was able to duplicate the home here that she had down there. I don't know too many other people. Who I think could. if you had money, you can duplicate <laughs> anything you want. Sure. <laughs> it makes sure. it easy to duplicate that. <laughs> and then the uh, Thompson Park, that was Geraldine Thompson's home yes. originally. Right. So uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit. That's a beautiful place as well, a beautiful venue to go as well. So Mrs. Thompson, Geraldine Thompson, was... Um, she was considered the first lady of New Jersey because she was an advocate and a philanthropist. And she truly, she was girlhood, a childhood friend of Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, and she was, this was their summer home and their horse farm. It was called Brookdale Farm. Oh, so and that's we are, how we got the name of Brookdale, Brookdale Community, Community, Community College. College. It is next door. And Mrs. Thompson was devoted to, to, um, conservation to women's prison reforms and to um, hospital so she was committed to the to the VNA and she was also the prince we had Geraldine Thompson we had Geraldine Thompson nursing home yes. facility that was yes. all from Mrs. Thompson and their money was from Standard Oil um, and this was their horse farm and they owned the first filly who ever won the Kentucky Derby really? Fascinating bit of and during the war, Mrs. Thompson had women live who could no longer live because their husbands were fighting over in Europe or in Japan in the Pacific. Had them live in her home in her on her estate, rent free, um, to live there to and garden. They had the, you know they had uh, victory gardens to take care of them. She was very devoted, and it was very touching when. The Thompson Mansion burnt down. That was our visitor center in 2006, and it's since been rebuilt. We lost a lot of our photo archives, and people from the community came forward with, the, with their own photos, hmm. family photos of my mother got married here. You know, my father worked in the stable for Mrs. Thompson, and we have photos from from when they got married. We have photos from you know they were. 
you know, my father was killed in the war, and Mrs. Thompson had my mother living here. Um, so it was really, it was really touching of how many people were touched by Mrs. Thompson. You could recreate the archives. We could. And it meant that much to people in the community that they came forth with their personal photos. And she was really a woman ahead of her time. She was. With all that she did. Mm -hmm. um, and with all her money, she made sure that she was helping everybody, really. She was very philanthropic. Yeah, we were very blessed to have her here in Monmouth County. And I know we also have um, Horshorn Park. Did I say that correctly? Hartshorn Woods. Woods, that's it. Yes, and that's in eastern Monmouth County. That's on Middletown, Locust, Atlantic Highlands. And that's very mountainous. It's very different from out here. Um, and the Hartshorns were the first governor and settlers of Monmouth County. Uh, and they've had, you know, and, and we have also, you know, so they went from woods to, um, it was a battery during, it was part of the North Atlantic Coast defense during World War II. We had a battery there to protect mm -hmm. the Atlantic coast. It's the highest point in New Jersey and actually on the eastern seaboard is yeah. there, which I didn't know. I would have thought Maine was higher, but it's not. And it was part of the coastal defense system to protect New York Harbor from U-boat invasions. And then it became, so it had a military installation there, and then the park system federal government wanted to disband it and, and, and get rid of it, and we took it over. And now it's being renovated to going back, so it went from woods to military base, back to woods and forest again. And people can go there. Is that where they have the recreation, where they have, they recreate um, what it would be like being there? Is it at that place, or there's another park where you can, um, no. Oh, uh, that's not, it's, it's not considered. It's, um, Wallenford is that's a it, Wallenford. That's Wallenford is a Revolutionary War home. It that's is the it. oldest existing home in Monmouth County, and the Wallens were Philadelphia importers, and this is where they had their lumber um, that they made all the barrels to bring things back and forth to England, and uh, you know it's taking a step back in time when you go out there, and that's out in Upper Freehold Township by Allentown, all the way out in western Monmouth. And I know that there are days when, because I see it in the paper, or I see it on the website, when we have people recreating what it would be like to live there. And the public can go, yes. and they can visit it, mm -hmm. and they can see what it would be like. The people are living actually in that time period. Yes, and the date will be announced. It's usually now in April and May. And along Crosswicks Creek, which comes through there, um, there are bluebells, which are a very endangered species of flower that bloom. And uh, they will, but they're unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> they're sometime in the spring, yeah. and they will be blooming. But they're an alpine um, lily orchid. So really, there's something to do, as we said, year-round. And no matter where you live, but especially, I think, Freehold Township, because of where we're located, it's really very easy for us to get to these different parks and different times of the year. It's just fascinating to see all that we have here in the county. And that goes back to, you know, when you say, well, what do we have to do? We have so much to do, and we're in a great location to do it. I was just thinking, as we're talking about the different parks, that in, a, in addition to being the executive director of Friends of the Parks, you're also the historian because um, for the park. <laughs> well, that's not my title. I just <laughs> listen to the historians for the park system. We actually have historians. We but one of the other things that we have that Freehold Township residents, I'm sure, know about is we have... East Freehold Showgrounds on Kozlowski Road, That's right. which there. is home to the Monmouth County Fair, and actually every weekend from April through the end of October, it is booked with either horse shows, dog shows, uh, events, and for a week in the end of July, it is it is the home of the Monmouth County Fair. So I know Freehold Township residents yes. know that yes. the home of you know we have over a hundred thousand visitors to that park annually. Well, I can tell you that that park is always being used because every time I drive by it, there is a show <laughs> going on. And it really is a place to go if you want to see a horse show or you want to see a dog show. It's right here, literally in our backyard. And you really should do that. Now, that goes all year round? Or that's mostly from, in spring? That's the sp it's spring, spring, so that would be April through probably you know mid-October, maybe the beginning of November. It's, it's booked. It's a, it's a great place to go, and it's wonderful to see these shows. It really is just 
fun day to yes. spend there. And the fair, the fair is just, we should mention that because that really is a lot of fun. Usually one day there's a terrible rainstorm. <laughs> um, some last year, year we had beautiful weather. So, yes, <laughs> last year it was good all the days. But it's it, usually in July, right, towards the end of July. Yes. And um, it's just, what a wonderful place to be. And again, I think it's one of the best county fairs yes. in the state of New Jersey. I really do. I'm there every year. And there's just so much to see and so much to do. You could go every single day or evening, because usually we're, we're in the evenings now. Open yes, evenings. it's in the evenings. And you could go every evening, and there would be something that you and your family could see. There's the... The animals that you can see, they have um, one to, where you can get up close and personal with the animals, one I wouldn't want to get so up close and personal <laughs> to, some exotic ones sometimes. The 4-H has their displays going on. Yes. Um, and that's how it all began. Yes. Was. It was an agricultural fair, and there are partners, so it's the Mama County 4-H fair. Yeah, so you can see they raise vegetables, um, mm -hmm. flowers, plants. My husband every year tells me he was a 4-H'er and he won awards for baking cornbread and has he ever, in all the years we have been married, done that for me? No. <laughs> so hopefully one day I can come back and tell everyone that he has done that. So the Monmouth County Fair this year is July 27th, Wednesday, July 27th, and it runs through Sunday, the 31st, um, and the Friends of the Parks sell the 50-50s yeah. at the fair. So the people in yellow shirts saying, get your 50-50s, did you buy your tickets? That supports the beautiful Monmouth County Park System, and all the money that's raised there goes right back to the programs. Yes, and, it does. Yes. And, and it exhibits for the Monmouth County Park System. And I know that the Friends even help with uh, repair, restoring, I should say, restoring. Right. We had ponds in one of the parks, and right. they were very historic. So the Friends of the Parks is a membership-based organization. Um, it starts at $25 and then for an uh, individual membership, and then it's $50 for a family, $100 for sustaining, $250 um, is our top membership. But, and it's for people who love the parks and think it's important. So we pay for things like exhibits, we pay for renovations at historic sites, um, and we pay for inclusion programs for children from underserved communities here in Monmouth County, plus for, for children um, who, have, who need therapeutic one-on-one uh, -on -one inclusion counselors. Yes. So, yes, they do so, so much. So we support that and that we fund about $60,000 of prog special programs and annual distributions every year for the Monmouth County Park System. So every dime we raise goes right back to supporting the park system. So when you're at the fair this year, and you, as, you, as Maria said, you see uh, the members and their families, I know your whole family is out there. <laughs> your husband, your children, everybody is out there working. Um, and you see the yellow shirts, and it'll have the name on it. You, um, If you can, any any amount that you can give, but they sell raffle tickets. There's a super raffle that's going, that goes off, and there's raffles going right. on throughout the evening. So any donation that you can make is greatly appreciated. And as Maria said, which is really important, it goes right back into the park system. So it helps to move ahead with projects that we already have or projects in the future that they're planning and they have to get the funding for. Um, I know even in addition to the parks, during the holidays you have a party for the children. Who, uh, yes, we fund um, the Urban Recreation Division for the Monmouth County Park System. We fund their holiday party um, and we it's open to participants of that program and then the community as well. So we have lunch, gifts, and a special visit from Santa Claus for 350 people. We close in at 350 people. And it's really my feel-good event of the year, of the holiday season every year. Many of these children would not have any gifts or Correct. any holiday at all. Correct. So um, it's a way to bring joy to them during the season when um, we are trying to reach out to others. The park system does it all year, and they never do it better than at that And you have, to, you have to remember, as I know many people know, is that people who live in Asbury Park, many don't have cars. So they don't have the luxury of being able to go to the mall to see right. Santa or do things like that. So this is somewhere where they can walk in their community and, and have a safe place and you know a beautiful family event 
to participate in. Well, the flex really is so far reaching. Um, that was one of the reasons why I asked Maria to come on because we have Turkey Swamp Club here, although I learned so much about it today. Um, and we're so really privileged to have it here within our township. But we also have throughout the county so many areas where we can go and we can get a little bit of history, a little bit of help, you know, by walking around and really just have time with the family. It's good sometimes to get outdoors. And even in the snow, because right now we just finished with a, one of the worst blizzards in decades, <laughs> um, there are people there, they, they snowshoe out there, don't they? You can they? snowshoe, you can cross country skate. Um, so that's all available at Thompson Park. You can go to Thompson Park and just sign in and, and rent for an hour the equipment and they give you maps and trail guides and they lay the trail down. They have a snowmobile that lays down the oh, trail so it's already that. packed down. Um, and it's really a lot of fun. I saw people out there yesterday when I was at my office, a whole family out there across country skiing, and I thought, oh, they're going to be tired. <laughs> <laughs> and cold. It <laughs> wasn't too cold, but they were a long way away yeah. from where they had to go back to. That's right. You have to make the return trip. It's right. not so bad going out, but when you have to turn around and come back, it seems longer. Right. The, there is just so much to see and so much to do. Um, again, with our local parks, we do have Michael J. Plateau. We do have... Um, Duran Park, and we have an arboretum there, which is really beautiful. Yes. And just for our residents to know, or anyone else who would be interested, the arboretum has trees, and you can buy a tree in memory or in honor of someone. I believe they're $250 uh, a tree, and it's a donation to maintain our parks here in Freehold Township as well. We have pocket parks here as well, and of course we have our fields. We have a lot of open space here. In Freehold Township, of which uh, the governing body is very proud and very grateful for people who donated to us. Well, and Duran Park, I grew up next door to, mm -hmm. so I spent my time fishing, running through the woods there. Mrs. Durand lived there, and she donated that property she to Monmouth County Park System, who lease it to Freehold Township, has a lifelong lease on the property, and Freehold Township does a beautiful job. I have a tree there because it was so important to me and to my family, we have trees there. Um, so you have done that. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, you can drive in, you can walk in, and they have done a beautiful job at maintaining that park and keeping it at the conservation area, but making it accessible for people to go visit and just enjoy nature at its finest over there. Isn't that what's so important, that we can, we can, we're able to access our parks, we're able to get there, and we're able to enjoy nature. There's so much building going on that we are preserving in the township and in the county as much as we can, because it's not only acquiring the space, but it's being able to maintain it. Correct. And New Jersey is close to being built out. Right. It will be built out within the next few years, so it, it's every bit of open space that we can acquire is really important. It's important to keep the open space tax going. Because that's what helps us purchase, to, to purchase, to purchase the, this property. And to maintain it. Correct. Um, we have that here in Freehold Township as well. And we use our open space um, funds so that we can maintain our parks. They really are pristine. They're just wonderful. And it's all because of county, state, local, all working together to do this because we realize how important it is. Once land is gone, it's gone. Correct. And there's nothing we can do to get it back again. And that's why it's so important when you see preserved land throughout the county, throughout the township, throughout the state, really, you know that we're doing that not only for us, but we're doing that for future generations. And it's preserving our air. It's preserving our water, which right. with all the catastrophes that are going on right now, we know how important that's that right. is. And it's, prefer it's preserving our quality of life. There is, it's beneficial for your health to get out in nature, to walk around, to relax, and it's great. You don't have to belong it's to the, the gym. <laughs> you can go and enjoy nature, lower your blood pressure, right. and improve your quality of health by walking through parks. And there is one, you're talking about water, Manasquan Reservoir we have, right? Within yes, Manasquan Reservoir That's is different. in Howell, our um, neighbor. It is, it, and that is a partnership 
it it provides it's part of our water authority so but there is active recreation so so there's active recreation around it there's a five mile trail around the perimeter of the pond we have nesting eagles and uh, nesting bald eagles there fishing boating kayaking canoeing there's an environmental center, there are playgrounds, picnic areas, and a visitor center and beach up there. So there is something for everybody. And that also is a 10 foot wide uh, packed trail. So same thing, it's easy to, to walk, to run, to bike. It's just beautiful, it's a beautiful facility. It is, and it's not too far from us at all. No. Because it's right in Howell, so it's right next door yep. to us. So Georgia Tavern Road. Just follow it down. And Mm -hmm. and it'll be there. Now, there's so much that we've been talking about that you can do in the parks, and I know that people who have been watching and have been a member of it, you can go on the website, but also there are mailers that go out. For Correct. Sure. Tal catalogs, magazines, right. whatever right. we want to call them. So you can go on the website, monmouthcountyparks.com, and it will list everything. There are drop-down tabs of everything that's available by area, by activity. You can search it. And then on... Um, you can also request to have information mailed to you. And there's brochures, there's program information, and of course, friends with parks information. We're happy to mail out to everyone to support the park system. That's important for those who do who do not have access to computers to know that you can call, and there are there's literature that will um, be mailed. There right. are, um, as Maria said, all year round there the, are mailings. The phone number for the Monmouth County Park System is seven three two. 842-4000. Okay, maybe we can put that up so that you'll have that. And if people are interested in Friends of the Parks, mm -hmm. how would they go about finding more information? Okay, the Friends of the Parks have a website. It's available there, uh, which is friendsofthemonmouthcountyparks.org. We are a nonprofit, 501c3. We, um, and like I said, it's $25 to join. We have activities. We support... They're just like Monmouth County Park System has something for everybody, the Friends of the Parks has something for everybody. And we welcome, we welcome new people constantly. We look forward to having everybody involved. And I want to thank you so much for coming here today. Please take our thanks from Freehold Township to your board of directors as well. Thank you, Barbara. Mrs. McMorrow, for it. having me. Mayor McMorrow. It's okay. You can call me Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor McMorrow has a nice <laughs> ring, right? <laughs> Very alliterative. Um, <laughs> Uh, but really, truly, um, what all of you do is astounding, and we take it for granted because we live here and we benefit from it and we enjoy it, but people who come from out of the area often tell me how beautiful it is and how beautiful our park system is, not only here in Freehold Township, but throughout Monmouth County. So we thank you so much for all that you do and all the members of Friends of the Parks do um, to make sure that we not only enjoy it now, but as I said earlier, that we're preserving all of this for future generations. So maybe we'll come back another time and we can talk about some of the programs and things that are going on. Thank you again, thank you. and thank all of you for watching us. And until next time, this is Mayor Barbara McMullen saying stay safe and stay wealthy. Thank you.